Hi guys, so what we're gonna be doing is going through that ZZ Top inspired solo. Now, it's really cool because it, it, it's actually in two different keys. So we start in the key of A minor, then we move to the key of C minor. So it's gonna really help enforce this idea that we can use these licks, these linking patterns, in any key that we want, as long as we can find the pentatonic shapes. That's what this is all about. So I'm gonna break it down nice and slowly for you. There's a lot to get through, so we'll go, we'll get cracking straight away. And the first lick looks and sounds like this. Okay, so we kick off in A minor. So we're right up here in the pentatonic shape one in A minor. Okay, so it's a nice, comfortable start, somewhere we really understand. And we're gonna kick off with this classic bluesy sound where we actually bend up the seventh fret, okay, a half step. So we're gonna bend up basically to that note. It's just a little bit of a bluesy sound, okay? Now, as soon as we've done that, we're gonna go through the seventh fret, uh, sorry, the fifth fret and fifth fret on the B and E string. So you get this. And you see I just roll those fingers over. I don't really want so they all join together, okay? So you need to be very sure to make sure that each note is individual, okay? And it's, it's no problem doing it, it just takes a bit more control. So it just means that when you hit this bend and finish it, your first finger does a little bit of job muting the G string so that the bend stops. Okay, you can see my finger's just a little bit over the G string to stop it ringing. And then when I go to the E string, I just roll that finger over like that, just enough to make sure that the B string stops playing. So we get this. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is either take your third finger or little finger, whatever you're comfortable with, and go, I'm gonna do the third finger for a second, and I'm gonna take the eighth fret of the B string and pull off to the fifth fret twice. Okay. Doesn't matter what fingers you use, whatever's most comfortable to you. And then as soon as you've done that, so you pull off, pluck and pull off twice, and then you're gonna take either the little finger or the third finger and slide, better than that, up into shape two, and that's actually the A root note, okay, really up high. So you slide up there, and we're gonna give that some nice vibrato. Okay, so we tackled the idea of vibrato in the beginner's courses. Um, if you're still not sure about that, or if you're an intermediate and you haven't properly looked at vibrato, then bear with us, because we will get to it in the intermediate courses as well, or alternatively go back to beginner's courses, but yeah, we definitely need to go through that, and you need to make sure that it's nice, even vibrato, okay? Now then, that whole lick together, therefore, sounds like this. Or with the little finger. Okay. Now, one thing to notice is just is it's quite bouncy. Okay, this track is a a little bit bouncier than your, your kind of usual stuff. So rather than go, we're going to bounce to it like this. Three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Okay, so the bounce is really important here, okay, that you can get that right. So, there's your first lick, guys. Now, the second lick goes like this. All right, so, some cool stuff here. First of all, we got a bit of a Clapton-esque style lick where we, we're up in the pentatonic shape two of uh, A minor, and we're gonna pull off from the, on the B string, so from 10 to eight, and then slide down, basically through our linking pattern, down into the shape one. Pull off, okay, onto the fifth fret, and then come back to the root note. So the first bit is straight out of our linking patterns. The only difference is, it's bouncy. Okay, and that's crucial part of this, the bounce. Now, after you've held on to that root note for a little bit, we're gonna go like this. Now, I love this sound. This sound is so cool, and I use this a lot. And it's really simple. All we're gonna do is take the seventh fret on the G string and the B string, and play them like that. So we're gonna take seventh fret, and hold it down. 
with the first finger. Okay, we grab those two together, and then we go down to the fifth fret with those two together. And we just kind of stop it dead, so like that, okay? To stop it dead, I've just literally stopped it with my right hand. Okay? So, that's it, okay? And to put those two bits of the lick together, we go... Okay, again. Two, three. Okay, so the first two licks together sound like this. I'm going to count you in. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two. Two, three. So there's your first two licks, guys, and that's what I want you to get together for now. Remember, the bounce is really, really important, so go through it exactly in the rhythm I've just done it. Put those two together, and next time we'll do the next set of licks.